Hi, welcome to week eight of writing proposals and grants. Last night, you should have submitted your foundation fundraising strategic plan, and I'm looking forward to taking a look at that. I will be grading that over the course of the week, so in about a week or eight days, you should have your grades on that assignment. This week, we're moving on to grant proposal writing. So last week's lecture was on writing the need, the organization background, need, and project description sections. You will be writing those sections this week. Um, so the organization background really is important for a foundation. It tells who you are, how long you've been around, and why you are a really good organization for the foundation to fund. The second section is the need section. The need section is about the external need in the community, and that's the key thing about a need section. Many, many people write in their need section why they need the money to do whatever it is they're going to do, but that's not what this is about. The need section is why does the community need the programs that you are proposing? So why is there hunger in the community, or why? what's the level of hunger in the community, or what's the level of uh, poverty in the community? It's all about the community. And that goes next into the project description, which is all about what it is you're going to do. Okay, so those six sections flow into each other and often what happens in the need section one of the big mistakes that students make in the need section is you start writing about what you're going to do about the problem try to refrain from doing that keep your need section pure about the need in the community because it goes into the next section says exactly what you're going to do about that problem and of course, uh, you'll notice in my lecture that I talk about the importance of having an ask sec sentence at the beginning of the project description. That ask sentence encapsulates everything. It says um, that your organization is applying to X, Y, and Z Foundation in order to for a fifty thousand dollar grant in order to bring a hundred more children into our after-school programs. Okay, that's your ask sentence. You need to make sure that you put that in there. Um, now, you're going to pick one of the foundations that you did research on, preferably one of your A foundations, um, to that you A put in the A priority. You're going to use one of those foundations to write your proposal to. And you're going to want to make a statement about why that's a good, that you're a good fit for that foundation's interests that will be uh, in the executive summary, so you don't have to worry about that right now, but do decide which of the foundations you researched you want to use for this proposal. Now that foundation might have a different format for the proposal, and if you are going to actually submit this proposal to be funded by them or to be considered by them, let me know and we'll follow their format. But if you're doing this as just a classroom assignment, I want you to follow my format. And a word on my format. Follow it exactly. So I want you to use the headers that I've laid out. It should say organization background, need, project description as your headers. Don't make up new headers or uh, more interesting headers. Uh, there are more interesting headers in the world, but for this purpose I want to know exactly what section you are working on and when I read your writing. So um, so what you're going to do with your draft this week is you're going to post it on the forum. As I said, there are two forums set up, and your name is on one of those forums. So you're, that's going to be your group for the grant proposal writing assignment. So make sure that you submit your proposal on time because it needs to be done. Your, your, your draft of your first three sections needs to be done by Sunday and posted on the forum so that your, your group mates can read them next week and give you comments on them. If you're late on the proposal, you're um, not going to get uh, very good comments. You may not even get comments if you're late. So this is a very important uh, part of the course to keep up with. Um, okay, that's it for this week. If you have any questions, as always, let me know, and uh, we can set up a time. And I look forward to seeing on the on the on the forums what you've worked on so far. You don't need to submit anything on assignments yet; just submit on the forum, and do it as an attachment. Do not do it as a paste into the box. Okay. Um, anyway, have a good week. Look forward to look from, looking forward to seeing what you uh, start writing. Take care. Bye.